Right of yesterday's rain, another system now is coming in and bringing another dose of rain, at least for part of the area already this morning. And we will see more of those rain chances spreading across the map as we move along through our uh, Thursday. Right now looking at an unsettled day with uh, some seasonably cool temperatures, but at least not a whole lot of wind. A uh, period of light rain already going on in North Iowa. A couple sprinkles, very light showers from uh, Mesa City, Clear Lake to Algona. A lot of this kind of fizzling out as it works its way into more of a stable air mass. So showers kind of running out, but we'll see at least that threat of rain in North Iowa for a little bit longer. Uh, next few hours featuring temperatures in the 30s. Uh, right now, 36 the temperature in Rochester as we look outside live with our Lewis Auto camera. On our way to the mid 40s. Dry so far. There is a little bit of fog. Low cloud cover. Very light winds in Rochester. Feels like 32. Air pressure is steady. 29.88 inches of mercury on the map. Seasonable temperatures, if not better than your typical morning uh, low temperatures. 36 in Rochester. Austin now 39. It's 39 in Decorah. We're looking at the, the chance of rain spreading slowly northward. So Ro uh, Rochester, Preston, uh, Winona eventually will get in on this as a center of low pressure that's generating this activity and spreading out ahead of it. Uh, that will work its way across the map. Bring us all at least a chance of rain uh, by afternoon. So far, the rain they'll could find in North Iowa. That would be the case as we watch that in high res future track. Uh, most of the activity staying on the, the uh, Iowa side of the border. Maybe a sprinkle or a spot of drizzle in southern Minnesota for the next few hours. But again, as you watch in time, Slowly that main band will slowly drift northward through midday. Just a few spotty showers and then by mid to late afternoon more widespread rain comes in from the west and that will uh, spread across the area through the evening hours as well before it comes to an end uh, around midnight later tonight with that center of that system then moving out. So periods of rain today, very light activity, maybe a tenth of an inch, not a whole lot, just a light uh, persistent rain shower activity, light winds, but temperatures only moving up around 9 or 10 degrees on our way to the mid 40s later uh, today. Rain holds off until late tomorrow. That helps us warm a little more though. We'll start off close to 40. We'll make our way well into the 40s, maybe even a shot at 50 for some of us, but that rain holds on through Friday night and all of Saturday and then it ends early Sunday. So it's going to be a, quite a rain producer. Maybe uh, another three quarters of an inch of rain. We had half an inch yesterday, another three quarters possible. That system heading into Saturday. But by Sunday, we'll start seeing at least some sun and start seeing temperatures improving. And for next week, we start seeing more 50s than 40s. So a nice little turn of events for us as we'll see fewer rain chances and brighter, warmer days. But 36 of that morning commute steady there with sprinkles in North Iowa. Otherwise gray and uh, fairly mild, at least, at least for this time of the morning. And not much wind helps it feel a little warmer. That with, uh, without much wind chill impact. 46 right now in Des Moines, Kansas City 53, 31 in Duluth. So everybody seasonable, if not a little better than the seasonal average this morning. 30s turn to mid 40s by afternoon. We'll see those rain chances spreading across, especially southern Minnesota by afternoon. Now, of course, already going on in North Iowa this morning. Topping out in the mid 40s will ease back into the 30s later tonight. So temperatures uh, at or at least very close. That seasonal average. There's the area of low pressure south of us generating those showers. That scoots pretty quickly to the east. We'll have showers ending by late this evening. We'll have a drier stretch of weather after midnight tonight. Maybe even a, a peak or two at starlight, but mainly gray skies start tomorrow. Next storm system, a big one coming in for the southwest. That brings some rain chances, especially late in the day afternoon, even the evening, only a couple of sprinkles, but more widespread rain comes in later tomorrow night and a lot of rain comes in for Saturday. We may see again a, about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain there, maybe even some thunder as well. And rain may not be done until perhaps midday Sunday. Sunday afternoon still looks pretty good. Monday looks fantastic and not many rain chances beyond that for next week. Temperature is looking pretty decent in the long run. 46 the seasonal average. We'll be close to that next couple of days. Sunday may take a little, little bit longer to break out of the clouds. So we're thinking upper 40s at this point instead of the 50s as we'd been talking about earlier. But eventually we will get rid of that system and things will brighten up and improve. But 44 today in Rochester, Austin 48. Charles City 48 degrees with the light northeast breeze. Uh, the average high 46 or certainly in the ballpark with that. A couple of uh, light showers until midnight tonight. Drying out late, maybe even a break or two in the clouds after midnight for a while. 33, 7 day forecast, 40s for the next few days. Rain, uh, especially f late Friday afternoon and evening all the way through Saturday. Maybe some late day thunder on Saturday. And maybe even a wet snowflake mix in before we're done with that system Sunday morning. But then next week, not a whole lot of rain, more sun and improving temperatures. So we get close to April, it begins to feel a little better. It looks like we start next week pretty well with 54 and sunny as a high. That's really good. Monday looks good. <laughs> Thanks, Ted.